What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I'm going to be going over how to get the four brand new Paradox Pokemon introduced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Indigo Disc. <laughs> Now there are going to be two Pokemon that are exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet and there are going to be two Pokemon that are exclusive to Pokemon Violet. And as it looks right now, you're going to be able to catch your two Pokemon and not the other two because they're static encounters. So hopefully sometime in the future, there's going to be a raid event going on that you're going to be able to catch the other person's one or something. I don't know, but this is this. You only get one, and they're version exclusive. That, that, that's kind of dumb, my opinion. Okay, not as dumb as shiny lock in every legendary, but okay, let's, let's keep going. There are two prerequisites in order for you to start the quest line in order to get these Paradox Pokemon. One is you actually make your way down to the terrarium, and two is you have to complete Perrin's quest line for Blood Moon Ursaluna in Kitakami. If she is not appearing for you, inside of the terrarium, it's because you did not finish this. Like me in this playthrough, hence why you see me in the Indigo Disc gear, going and doing that. As soon as you come into the main entrance, right in front of the Savannah Rest Area 1, you're gonna be seeing her with a big yellow bubble above her head. It's Growlithe, he's a good boy. Hey, Parent. Hey, wait a minute, don't I know you from somewhere? Absolutely, that's right, my old partner, Austin John. She's gonna give you a brand new emote called Looking Good. That's, that's how I read it. If I told you, I bet you'd be running right off. How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching tons of Pokemon in the terrarium. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. If I make enough headway in my work, by the time you register, say, 200 Pokemon in the Blueberry Pokedex, I'll share a hot tip. Now, you have to go ahead and register 200 Pokemon in the Blueberry Pokedex. Right down there. Keep in mind, 72 of them are going to be the starter Pokemon. Going ahead and getting all 24 of the starter Pokemon and then evolving them, that's a huge chunk of the Pokedex taken care of. And once you have 200, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna be speaking to her. There's no actually like photography thing going on. It's just, it's just you have to have 200 in your, in your Pokedex, that's it. She's gonna say to take a look at these photos. If you're playing Pokemon Violet, you're gonna be having this photo right here, as well as, this photo right here. This is going to be for Iron Boulder and Iron Crown, the Cobalion one being the crown and the Terrakian one being the boulder. From here, you're pretty much all set with her. You can just go ahead and not bother with her. You're, we're just gonna go to exactly where these two locations are. And soon as you enter, you wanna hop right off of the cliff, hand your camera around, and you're gonna be seeing an alcove right underneath where you just hopped off. If we head down inside of here, and down here, we're gonna be finding our future Paradox version of Cobalion. Now, I would recommend before you interact with it, turn your auto saves off. Go ahead, put down a hard save, and then we're gonna go ahead and interact with it. Now, this is a static encounter, and this Pokemon is going to be shiny locked. There is no way to hunt this as being shiny at the time being. Iron Crown has a base dot total of 590, having exceptionally good special attack at 122. At level 75, his moves are gonna be Volt Switch, Future Sight, Tachyon Cutter, and Sacred Sword. He is a Steel and Psychic type, and I wish I had realized that before I decided that I was gonna be using Sword Dance and False Swipe as my main way of bringing his health down. Something else also interesting to note here is Iron Crown has a catch rate of 10. Catch rate 10 was introduced in Sword and Shield with Zamazenta and Zacian because they didn't want it to be as low as 3, but they didn't want it to be as high as 25. In this game, your main paradox, your main re-encounterable paradox, whether that be Iron Valiant or Roaring Moon, those two also have a catch rate of 10. So that's what you're looking at. If you bring it down to one health while it's asleep with an Ultra Ball, I think you're looking at about a 30% catch rate. A Dusk Ball, if it was nighttime or a cave, which I still don't know if Area Zero is either of those things, is gonna be a little bit higher, and then after 10 turns is going to be a Timer Ball. 
Me personally though, I am going to be doing a Pokeball while it's asleep with one HP left, 17.47% chance to catch it. I have 914 Premier Balls. I think we can do this. If it is paralyzed instead of asleep, my main hypnosis user uh, just got knocked out. We are looking at 11.91% chance to catch it. Thus, you have a 50% chance of catching it within six balls and a 95% chance to catch it within 24 balls. Not including critical capture chances. Six balls. This iron crown that you get is the only one that you are going to be getting for your Pokedex. Well, at least, you know, for the time being, until they make a raid out of it. Oh, we have another one to go get. We have a uh, iron boulder. Iron boulder is gonna be fairly simple. Right down there, you can see research base. It's above this big green, uh, let's just call that wall of ground, wall of ground. And if we head all the way down, if we look right behind it, and it has this same exact catch rate that we're looking at of catch rate of 10, so same stats, put down a hard save right before you do the encounter. Grr on. Iron Crown has a base stat total of 590 and his physical attack being one of the most predominant. Uh, oh, I should also probably give you the chance to catch it on a quick ball on turn one. 12.5%, not great. This is a rock and psychic type. And at level 75, he has the moves Megahorn, Sword Dance, Mighty Cleave, and Sacred Sword. Just be careful, because if you're not paying attention and he gets some sword dances up, he can he can wreck you pretty easily. So be careful of that while you're going through and you're trying to catch him in more difficult balls. Oh, first, for first ball? Aw, oh, that would have been great. That would be great content. He will. Is he going to Shrek me? Yep. Ball number three, critical capture, and GG. Iron Boulder number 239. And for Pokemon Violet players, that's it. Now I just need to play through Pokemon Scarlet and get 200 Pokemon registered in my Blueberry decks. See you then. Good morning, gamers. It's me again. I, uh, I pretty much finished the Blueberry decks. Also later today, I have a video coming out about the version exclusives and version exclusive trade codes. So that's gonna make everyone's life a little bit easier. Granted, in this video, I'm covering like half of them. Anyways, hey there you. It's like I just talked to you, but like in a parallel universe, cool. So for Pokemon Scarlet, we're gonna be having this photo over here, which is at the very top of area zero. And this one over here, that's clearly a Raikou tail. Also, I just wanted to show off that you don't need to make any progress whatsoever. I just went to my first class. I just got the BP ability here. I've done zero barbecues. Texas would be very ashamed at this Austin. Anyways, let's head over to the zero gate. Once you enter area zero, there's gonna be a few waterfalls directly across from you. There's gonna be, there's gonna be this one on the left, there's gonna be a middle one, and there's one on the right. The small one in the middle with the satellite dish that's looking sort of directly at you, this one right here, four trees, big split in the middle, that's the one that you have to go to, not the one on the right, not the one on the left, the one directly across from you. And if you beat the Indigo Disc DLC already, you're gonna be able to get there a lot faster than I am. I'm, I, I didn't unlock the fly yet, so it's gonna take me a while. But thanks to the magic of editing, whoosh, and we're here, fantastic. Before we're going into battle, we turn the auto saves off and we put down a hard save right in front of him. Okay, uh, being level 75, he's gonna have Lava Plume, Fire Blast, Dragon Rush, and a move called Burning Bulwark, which I assume is a signature move of him. Oh, there's also a move called Raging Fury. I'm excited about these new paradoxes. Okay, stats on Gouging Fire. What are we looking at? Base stat total of 590. HP is 105. Attack is 115, defense is 121, specials are garbage, and speed is 91. That's not bad. And he's a fire dragon. Oh, here's here's the signature ability. Oh, he protected himself. It's it's a protect move. Yeah, look at that. Oh! It's a protect move that burns! Gouging Fire has a catch rate of 10, which is a somewhat low catch rate. 
meaning that you're gonna have a little bit of difficulty catching it. For example, turn 10, if it's paralyzed with a timer ball, you're looking at 31%, which isn't horrible, it's really not. This is a catch rate of 10 as opposed to most legendaries that are three. This is the same catch rate as your Roaring Moon is. Bro, stop using this protect move. It's just annoying. I'm already burned. Ball number one. Nope. 14. Ah! Great, and he was just drowsy that turn. Nice. Gouging Fire, Fire Dragon Paradox Pokemon. There are scant few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video shows it's rampaging and spouting pillars of flame. 1300 pounds, 11 feet tall. Number 236. And for our final Paradox Pokemon of the three waterfalls, now we're gonna be going to the base of the rightmost one. So there's the leftmost one, there's the center one, the one that we previously went to, and now the rightmost one, which is honestly a little bit difficult to see from this angle, it's gonna be right down here. Now it's noticeable because you're gonna be having that split in the two land masses over here, and despite the picture showing it toward the actual waterfall going down into the depths of Area Zero, if we head over to the base of the waterfall, over here is where we're gonna be finding our paradox, Raikou, named Raging Bolt. Once you land, if you went to the wrong waterfall, there's a chance you have the go back up option. That may make your life a little bit easier. As always, you wanna save right in front of it before you initiate battle. This guy has a lot of health, 125 health, a physical attack is poor, but special attack is 137, which is very high. 89 special defense, 75 speed, so not very fast. Base stat total of 590 in total. He's an electric dragon type, and he has the moves Dragon Pulse, Rising Voltage, Dragon Hammer, and Thunderclap. Yeah, that's right. Pretty much all the stuff that I said about the previous one applies to here, I honestly didn't expect all of that to come off of his face when he did that. So that was pretty cool. Luckily, this guy doesn't have a protect move or a status condition that he can inflict upon me, so this is gonna go much faster. GG. It's said to incinerate everything around it with its lightning launched from its fur. Very little is known about the creature. About the same weight, except this one is 17 feet tall. Is he taller than a Lolan Executor? <clears throat> and just like that, that's going to be all four of the brand new Paradox Pokemon. The two past, the two future, which are always smaller for some reason, and unfortunately, all of them are version exclusive and you can only get one at the current time. So that's a shame. Oh, did you guys just make like a, the perfect thumbnail? Raikou, come back. I have already aired my grievances about having a Pokemon that you can only capture one of that is version exclusive. I think that's so dumb. And hopefully there's gonna be an upcoming raid battle that you're gonna be able to catch additional ones and ones for other people who are playing the other version of the game. So. Yeah, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor to leave a thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one. And if you need to know how, check out Austin John. Champion flow, flow, yeah. I got that champion flow, flow.